All right, getting straight to it. Um, trying not to make this a long ass video. Um, Saturday night. Um, WWE Survivor Series 2023. CM Punk is back. Came back. Um, not only did he come back, Randy Orton came back as well. After being out for over a year. Um, so it was two big returns. Uh, Saturday night I mean. This is. A. Times four W. For WWE. And good for us fans as well. Um, probably the best pay-per-view they had this year. Just because of those two returning back. Uh, most of the matches was cool. I didn't think none of the matches besides Rhea Ripley and Zoe uh, Stark was just... Because Zoe was just... She's a good talent, but she's not ready to be in the champion spotlight. But it's something different, and that's what Triple H brought. But never hear this video is not about the whole pay per view. It's just about ninety percent CM Punk, ten percent Randy Orton. So I'm just gonna get the ten percent out the way with Randy Orton. I'm so glad Randy Orton came back because it was a possibility that he was uh, he was so injured with his back he might have had to retire. It was rumors saying that he might come back. He not might might not come back. He may have to retire. He's seen multiple doctors. They was telling him he shouldn't do this, do that, come back, whatever. Eventually, this past week, he just got announced for the fifth member in the War Games, which it was perfect. So, him coming back in the fold, he's back to being Randy Orton. There's no more RK bro because Matt Riddle got fired. So, it's, it's Randy Orton slowly. So, you, I just don't know what they're going to do with Randy Orton. Is he going to be a face? I know the heel turn is coming. But is he going to be a face long enough before he turned to a heel? Because definitely he's delivering the RKO to Jey Uso for putting him out. With the bloodline stuff. And then I know they're going to set up Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes. I feel like they're going to do tag team matches, relive history with the legacy and all this other stuff. And then, boom, RKO. This is this is Randy Orton. He's the Viper, Snake. You know what I'm saying? Can't trust him, which makes him perfect. He's be He works better as a heel anyway. But he's okay with baby face. So now I got that 10% off the way. CM Punk, come back. A lot of people not happy. I know a lot of people have been seeing the videos of uh, Seth Rollins. Um, you know, whether it's shooting or work. Me, I think it's, I feel like it's a little bit of work. And it's, he has to be professional. But I do feel like deep down he really don't like this dude. Now, CM Punk, I know he haven't had the, the greatest two or three years from AEW up until now because he, he uh, rubbed a couple feathers. You know, rubbed people the wrong way, made locker rooms cancer, blah, 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 blah. You know, this man always spoke his mind. That's just what it is. Um, in life, man, people is going to be them. You just have to set people for who they're going to be. Um, and that's CM Punk. He, he may complain, may whine, but at the end of the day, me personally, as being a fan of modern wrestling or old time attitude era type wrestling or early nineties, you know, stuff like that. Um I'm excited for it. You understand? Know now I don't want to get too deep into it with CM Punk because he could stay for a year like AW and then shit go wrong. You know? I'm hoping that don't happen, but it's in every fan's back of the head. Now the possibilities of the matchups. You already know he going against Sinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura, I mean. Because he been teasing it, using the GTS, blah, 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 blah. Get that out the way. That's that's probably going to be his first feud. Um, then we're going to talk about maybe him feuding with maybe Cody. 
Those promos is going to be fire. Then it's a possibility he can have fuse with Roman Reigns, which that's going to be fire. He could go after L.A. Knight. Those, that promo was going to be, wow, that's going to be crazy. Like I said, I don't know if he's necessarily going to be on Raw or he's just going to go from both. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather for him to go both because it gives him an opportunity to go against a lot of people on both shows. But obviously the main thing is setting up for him and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Now, whether it's for the title or not, I think it should be for the title, and I think Punk should be the one to, to dethrone Seth Rollins' long title run and get that main event in WrestleMania. And I'm thinking that's one of the reasons why he came back, besides the money. He wants that WrestleMania main event to solidify. And plus, I think he didn't want to go out bad in AEW, and that'd be the last glimpse of his career for people. Um, of him, I mean. Um... It's so many other people. Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor. Oh, it's crazy. I'm just excited. And the crazy thing was I was watching Survivor Series. I was at work, so I was dibbling and dabbling, watching it and stuff. And then when I realized he came back, like I had to hold my composure at work. I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. He really came back. He really came back. I was 60-40 with it. I know, I know. Never say never. And I feel like... The what made it a big hint is probably when he came on that Fox stuff talk show and stuff. And that was like the first seeds planted of him possibly coming back. But AEW probably Tony Khan probably fist pump, not fist pump, but punching the air right now because once he let him go and fire, you know, he had to troll everybody and. You know, do all this other stuff to kind of keep it under the wraps. Now, I think it's fucked up because Randy Orton's return got overshadowed by that, but it was in Chicago. But the way they did it was perfect. They let Randy Orton get a shine, be awesome in the War Games match, match baby faces, celebrate, blah, 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 and then CM Punk come out. That Perfect by Triple H. That was the best way. I know Randy Orton, whatever, whatever. And they, that's another rivalry for CM Punk. Old history with Randy Orton. So kudos to Triple H for doing what's right. And he said that. Like, you know, the main thing that he said, like, never say never. But like I said, I'm. A, he said he was a different person 10 years ago. He's a different person now. Vice versa with CM Punk. You know, people grow up. Some people was able to settle out their differences and make for the greater good, and some people can't. These two men was able to do that. Um, I mean, I'm I'm really excited. WWE definitely got a boost with these two coming back. Um, obviously, um, if you watch Survivor Series, let me know what you think about the show. Um, overall, what you think about Randy Orton and CM Punk, or just CM Punk? Randy Orton, obviously, that's good. But what do you feel about CM Punk? I'm trying not, I'm trying not to make the video too too long. I just got straight to the point. Um, yeah, I'm excited for it, and I just hope that it works until he retire. Like it didn't seem right with him going to AEW. It was good for wrestling. But it just didn't feel right. He was in another promotion. Now he's back with WWE where most people saw him, especially me when he came from Ring of Honor to WWE with ECW, um, where I start, you know, watching him and following him and liking him. Um, he's actually back home now where he belongs, WWE. It feels right. So hopefully everything goes right, rather... People pissed off, it's a work, a shoot, whatever it is. I just hope he don't fuck up the locker room. Keep it uh, positive. Put over new people, but still submit itself on the legacy. So, that's that. I'll see y'all in the next video.